How's everybody doing today? I've got a good one uh, for us here today to, to think about. It comes from uh, Mark chapter 12, verse 43. And Jesus said, Truly I tell you, this poor widow has put more into the treasury than all the others. Okay, this is a fairly fairly uh, famous story of a, uh, of an interaction Jesus had with his disciples at the temple uh, as people were lined up donating their tithes and offerings to the temple. Rich people came and donated huge sums of wealth. Now, in, in our modern society, we write a check or put a couple, you know, 20s or whatnot in the offering plate, and it's not so obvious. But in this day, I, I can imagine that they might have had sacks of money, you know, copper or gold coins maybe, or or who knows what they were, were giving. But it was very obvious, and they wanted to be known that they were donating a large sum of money. And here they are just throwing it at the temple, and this poor little old lady, widow, she throws in just two copper coins. So financially, the lady didn't give much, a couple cents worth. In fact, that's what the scripture says. So, you know, you imagine going to church and this little girl puts in, you know, a quarter and uh, the guy next to her put in $5,000. Well, what's going to do the church more? I mean, obviously the $5,000 can be used for, for ministry expenses and whatnot. But the, what Jesus says was she gave more than everyone else. So let's examine that for a moment. First, he says that, that um, the rich, in verse 44, gave out of their wealth. In other words, they gave out of something they already had. It wasn't, they weren't surrendering, they weren't sacrificing. They were just giving something that was very common to them and something that was expendable, okay? But she was in poverty. She had nothing at all. And then and Jesus says, and out of her poverty, she put in everything, all she had to live on. In other words, she gave it all to God. There was nothing left in the bank. There was nothing left in her heart. She was saying, here, God, take everything I have, even if it means my life. So I ask you today, this is your challenge for the day. What haven't you given to God? Have you given him the things that are expendable, that are easy, the parts of your life that you didn't really care about anyway? You know, maybe some relationships, maybe some, maybe you do uh, Operation uh, Christmas Child shoe, shoe boxes. No big deal, right? A couple of combs and maybe a toothbrush here and there. Hey, there you go. I serve the kind. Of, I serve the Lord. I feel great about myself. But what about the things that you don't want to give away? Your time, your, maybe some relationships that are affecting your, your life with the Lord. Maybe some suggestive TV shows. I mean, I'm not trying to convict you or, or persecute you. Might, I'm just asking you. Did you give your two copper coins and everything you had to live on? Or did you give something that uh, didn't matter too much to you? You know, I, I, I kind of like to think of a, an old pastor I had use this analogy. He says, you give 10% to the Lord for your tithe. But what about the other 90% of it? Who does that belong to? That's a good way to think about it. We do serve the Lord in minor ways. But do we surrender everything else that we don't dedicate to him as well? Our careers, our hobbies, you know, what about our family? Do we give that back to the Lord? So that's your challenge. Search your heart, search your soul. Maybe talk about it with your family members. What are you holding back? <clears throat> what are you, are, are you giving what's easy? <clears throat> the, the point is, whatever we give to God, God's able to do more with than if we were to do it on our own. So just consider that today. I hope you have a wonderful day uh, wherever you're at, and I will catch you tomorrow.